Milo! Hope you're well, everyone. Just did my uh, morning washing. It's quite good to. Uh, I got a massive fawn out of my hand from uh, the thatched roof on the Viking duck house. Wear gloves, people. Wear gloves because you'll get hurt. But uh, yeah, how are you all doing? Hope you're well. Uh, check this out. It's nice, isn't it? Very nice. Today I've got to do a few things. I probably won't bore you with them though. Just a few snapshots of it happening, you know. Um, I've got to put in the posts for this um, to actually do the enclosure. Uh, I'm going to have to go and get mesh for it. Because um, there's that little stoat knocking about and I don't want him getting into any ducks. So... I need to just bang that out real quick and make a door and all that jazz and then I'll try and film something a little more exciting. All right, it's cool. Bear with me. See you soon. Animals are farving wood again. Open the polytunnel and look who's in here. A little bird. Bless it. You're free. Run free. Fly free. Anyway, I won't bore you with this yet again. I just had to do my rounds and I want to show you that little wee bird flying a boot. Ah. This is like cutting wood with a spoon now. I've ordered a new one but it's not showed up yet. It's been a while so I'm still cutting everything with this spoon. Whew. Right, a few more fence posts and that's me done on this. Who put this at such a stupid angle? It's going to be a nightmare to put an enclosure around that. It's going to have to be massive. I'm going to have to rethink this. In the meantime, I'm going to do a job that I've been putting off. <sighs> Which is... That was weird. Job that I've been putting off, clearing all the nonsense up here because the chimney guy is going to come tomorrow and see what I can do fireplace wise so I need to clear all this out don't I great fan <laughs> bags there. Didn't even get to finish it because yet again I ran out of bags. Whew. Let's get outside. Oh, I'll be happy when all the sawdust is gone. Stay a mind and what you'll find
Find if you guys don't know how I'm yet, then you're on our side We tend to find a release and power in passion through noise No cause for confrontation, just a moment to enjoy Never time for talk, I want your bottle, that is proof for nothing This is liberal mind and history to be seated politician Now you're talking so our senses, last and large explicit Knowledge is a muscle, it's dark, it's not to listen Shut your mouth and open and listen now Shut your mouth and open
So there we go, there's all the posts and gates in. Sorry, I uh, had to stop the video because the old chimney guy came around and basically said, do what you want, contact the council. So well worth waiting for five weeks for that information. Nice one. Right, I put all the wire on now. This is gonna take ages. I just clipped this one piece off. It was a nightmare. So uh, I wish somebody would invent gloves that you could do things in. Can't work in them. Instantly cut myself. But with gloves, you can't get into it to cut it properly. Catch 22, eh? Right, I'll bang all this on. Tell you what, I wish I'd not got the cheap fence tax bending all over, it's a nightmare. Well, that took far too long. Doesn't look great either, but it is what it is. Hey, bud. Yeah, right. Oh, you are getting used to me. You're going to be my little buddy. <laughs> That's all the mesh on the outside bit done. Now I just got to put a door in. I'm going to have to put a little spacer bar on the bottom there because it's not level it'll be a nightmare so pop one of them in and then i've got to do all the outside well, hopefully i'm going to get it done in time for the arrival of some ducky works but yeah admittedly not my best work Oh, some gap underneath that. So now the door's in and it's all sealed on the inside. I just need to bury the bottom bit of the door with some rocks and mud. I need to move that and start cladding all this outside. All that and all that. I'm running out of time I'm trying to do everything as fast as possible, but whoo, it's getting close. Right, that's the bottom row in. I just need to put the top row in, and tighten it all up. Might just get it done in time. Let's see, stressful with all the flies attacking you constantly. No good. Grim. Anyway. Didn't manage to get the top bit on time before the ducks arrived, but let's go and see them. I'm sure they'll be in pretty much all videos from now on. Hey guys. All right, beauties, huh? <laughs> anyway, should be fun trying to get them in that later. Might film that too.
Hey ma'am. Hey ma'am. Hey ma'am. So that's just a little night enclosure. They're not going to live in there. They're going to be in here. Just need to clear everything up. Had to get them a temporary paddling pool. Look, <laughs> we've got a pond liner coming, but I didn't want to have them without until it does arrive and get built. So I just filled that, which is an absolute joke to fill. Um, and I'll let them free. Probably take them a while for them to come out anyway, but. Go on, you pop in as well. Oh. She's loving it. But anyway, we'll do a competition. Um, so this is the female duck. She needs a name. This is the male duck. He needs a name. So the competition is, name those ducks, put it in the comments, and um, I'll choose the ones that we like the best and the prize is you've named the ducks forever so get on it put it in the comments Right, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. As always, supporting, liking, commenting, subscribing. It's awesome. Um, support's been incredible recently. Loving it. And thanks to uh, Counting Coins for letting me use that little bit of music. You can um, check them out by looking in the description as well. And don't forget, in the comments, put the duck names that you want. You might just win and then the little duckies will be named whatever you named them forever. All right, have fun. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, folks. You are the best. Take it easy, boy. <laughs>